Hi, it's Gus from Foundation Football, and today I want to uh, touch on how to motivate your children to work harder, to not just in football, but basically in uh, in anything really, schoolwork, cleaning the rooms, whatever it takes. So when we talk about motivation, uh, we talk about two types of motivation. There's internal motivation and there's external motivation. So I'll sort of try and explain a little bit about what the external motivation is and what some of the techniques are that some parents um, try to use in order to get their kids to clean up their rooms and so forth. Um, and the first is, is extrinsic, so we'll talk about that. Um, so basically, extrinsic motivation is when you're focusing on the outcome rather than the process so the outcome for example um, whatever that outcome might be you may use some kind of a form of um, incentive so that incentive might be monetary it could be gift giving um, so you might turn around and say look you know for this season for every goal you score I might give you a couple of dollars for each goal or you might set a goal uh, where they, they have to score 20 goals or they have to do a particular thing and there's some financial reward or some other form of reward to be, you know, like a gift, an Xbox or something like that. So um, the bigger the gift, obviously, the, the higher you, you probably believe the motivation is. But the problem is with children is those kinds of motivation only work short term. They don't work long term. Um, being external motivations, external uh, um the tendency is also that what you're doing is you're actually subconsciously setting your children up um, where they start to uh, subconsciously think that you know happiness comes from out the outside, not from the inside. Um, it comes from the things that you accumulate, the things that you own. Um, so you know things like I will only truly ever be happy when I own a Ferrari Testarossa or something like that. Um, when the reality of it is that um, life is, is, is about relationships and about putting back into the community and, and, and growth and so forth. So uh, those material things don't really bring happiness. They may bring some comfort. Um, they will they'll also bring a better quality of life in terms of if you're generating large incomes and so forth, but ultimately they don't bring you happiness. Happiness is, is something that comes from within. So we... When you talk about internal motivation, it's a little bit different. So we have to be careful also that when we, you know, if we're not giving them incentives like external incentives to to go out and do the work, um, it's important that we don't um, uh, reward them with the wrong idea as well. So, for example, we might, um, in terms of the outcome goals. We might be totally focused on whether the team wins or loses. Um, so it's purely based on the scoreboard. Did you win or did you lose today? So in most cases, when you ask somebody, how did you go today? First thing I'll tell you is the score. Um, there's no mention of the process. So no mention on how, how, how you played or whether you had a good game. Or good, you can play about, you can lose a game, but you can play extremely well. So um, the score isn't always relevant. So, um, you know, so basically if um, you're talking about reward in terms of verbally rewarding your kids, you, you wouldn't reward them on, on the result, you would reward them on, on the effort, basically. So what you want to um, focus on is on the process or process goals. Okay, so those process goals basically focuses on how the team played, how the individual played, um, did they develop, how did they develop, for example. Um, did the team play better as a team? Um, was the movement better? Was the passing better? Was the positional play better? Those are the things that you should be focusing on. And so, so when you you know if you you come away with a big win um, and the team has played awfully, I would encourage praising that. Um, I would encourage um, speaking about you know yes we we won but what were the circumstances did we play against a strong team did we play against a weak team and how did we actually win the game was there um some creative play involved or was it just kicking the ball up in the air i mean those are the things that you really have to focus on in terms of the process if you want your children to advance and get better they're not going to get better just competing they're going to get better by making sure that um, they're going through 
the process of development, which is playing intelligently, playing well. And so what you do is you praise the effort. And um, what happens when you praise the effort, in, in most cases, um, literally all cases, children um, from a very young age um, are really only interested in um, pleasing parents. You know, they're looking for their parents' acceptance and their parents' support. Um, so when a child does well and, and the mum and dad praise them, obviously they feel better about themselves. And if you um, work that in a way where that praise is um, internal in terms of the effort, then that in itself is the reward. So that enhances the desire to go out and do it again because you're praising the effort, not the outcome. Um, and that's really what it comes down to. It's making sure that how you word things with your children is really, really important. You know, we are um, very emotional creatures, humans, and um, throughout evolution, what, what's happened inside our brains is that there's a um, chemical reaction that happens that, that drives our emotions, things like oxytocin and serotonin and, and dopamine and cortisol and so forth. Um, so we... we as a, as, a, as a species, we are still in the embryonic stage in terms of dealing and managing emotions. So we need to be able to set our children up in a way where we empower them um, rather than disempower them. So it's not about shutting feelings off. It's about um, living those feelings when, you know, getting angry for the right reasons. And um, because if you suppress anger, that's not a good thing. But if you get too angry, that's not a good thing either. So there's got to be sort of like a middle ground. Um, you can't be happy all the time. It's just it's not good to be happy all the time. I even know that sounds a bit silly. It's a reality. We need to express emotions. We need to feel all the ranges of emotions: sadness, happiness, disappointment. Um, if you know you have your child in a team that is just winning and winning, winning for let's just say from under tens to under fourteens, all they do is just win every week. Not particularly playing. You know, development style football, but they're winning every week and their skills are not improving. Eventually, um, the factors that were allowing them to win things like size and speed, and, and it could be the coach, and the coach might leave. So, after three or four years of, of total success, what happens to a team that all of a sudden starts to lose two or three, four, four games in a row? How do, how do the kids deal with that? How do they deal with with those losses and I've had a bit of an experience um, this season with that and in, in many cases the kids were looking to blame somebody for what was happening rather than looking at themselves, um, looking at the situation and trying to adjust accordingly. So these, it's important that, um, you know, as, as a sports parent, if that's what you are and, it's, you know, you want the best for your children, is um, it's important that we communicate the right message to them, and that is that um, talent isn't something you're born with. Um, if you're going to turn around to your son and say, "You're oh my God, you're very talented," um, you have to add, "You're very talented because of the amount of work that you've put into what you're doing." And nine out of ten times, I think that is the right way to go because you're praising the effort. You're not praising something that's natural. If you're praising something that's natural, then the idea is that, well, I was born to do this. I don't really need to work harder than anybody else because I'm I'm the best. And because that's what my parents keep telling me, I'm very talented. So it's a matter of wording things properly, making sure that you pass on the right information. Uh, that's it. So I hope that helps. If uh, if you found this video interesting and you know somebody who might benefit from it, please forward it on, um, share it, and uh, if you've got any comments or anything you'd like me to discuss, um, feel free to contact us and uh, I'll do my best to get it out there. Thank you and enjoy your day.